For this pattern, I'm starting with four pairs of hanging cords. Take the outer left hand cord and point it inwards at an angle, using the next three strings over to tie diagonal clove hitch knots over that lead cord. Next, I'm doing the same thing but reversing sides, so starting with the outermost right hand cord and using the next three strings over to tie diagonal clove hitch knots. I'm switching back to the left side using the new outermost cord as our new lead cord and again tying three clove hitch knots using the next three strings. Repeat, but on the right hand side this time. Continue in creating another row of diagonal clove hitch knots on each side. After the three rows are complete on each side, we are going to connect the two sides by crossing over the two lead cords and using the lead cord underneath to tie one diagonal clove hitch knot over the other. Repeat this pattern across the top working in pairs of four hanging strings at a time. Thank you. 
After creating a row across the top, you can move on to the second row. So you're going to start with one of the previous lead cords in the center and point it outward this time instead of inward like we did for the first row. Pick up the next lead cord and repeat in the opposite direction. Just like I did across the top, I'm going to be creating three rows of clove hitch knots on each side. So I'm just taking the innermost string on the left hand side and pointing that downwards, following with another row of clove hitch knots. And then you'll go ahead and do that on the opposite side and continue for three rows. Continue across the rest of the row in the same technique. For row number three, you will use the same technique that you did for row number one. At this point, you can create as many rows as you'd like, and just remember to alternate the directions for each row.
For my wall hanging, I chose to complete four rows and I'm very happy with the look, so that is the completed wall hanging. Enjoy!